So, we understand that how can we differentiate the substances in terms of floating substances and sinking substances. But if you want to compare the different substances and their densities, sometimes there is little problem we get because all the substances do not have the same dimensions. Dimensions means same sizes. In those situations, we have another physical quantity or we can say another way of approaching to know that uh, the nature of the substance and that physical quantity is relative density. Relative density. This relative density means what? The word tells you relative means it's comparing. What it comparing? Relative density equals to density of a substance by density of water having equal volume. That is very important. That condition is very important here. So, relative density is the ratio. It is the ratio of density of substance to the density of water having equal volume. Having equal volume means what is the substance you are taking, its volume should be equal to the volume of the water. Then only you can take the ratio. Now, let us take an example to find the relative density of a substance. We know that density of ice equals to 0 0.92 gram per centimeter cube. Now, if you are taking the density of water having equal volume, which is 1 gram per centimeter cube. Now, if you ask the question that what is the relative density of ice? See, relative density of ice equals to take this density of substance 0 0.92 gram per centimeter cube by density of water 1 gram per centimeter cube. Now, what happened? gram per centimeter cube, gram per centimeter cube cancelled and you got the value 0 0.92. So, the difference is density of ice is 0 0.92 gram per centimeter cube. So, we are telling with the unit. Relative density does not have any unit because both units are cancelled. Take another example. Density of copper equal to 8.9 gram per centimeter cube and you know the density of water again 1 gram per centimeter cube. So, relative density of copper equals to 8.9 gram per centimeter cube which is the density of copper by density of water 1 gram per centimeter cube. Again what happened? Units are cancelled you got the 8.9. So, relative density you can express in terms of density value but should not tell the units. But remember, we are taking the density of substances in terms of gram per centimeter cube. Do not take in kilogram per meter cube because the density of water having equal volume means we are taking 1 gram per centimeter cube. So, the substance of densities you have to take in gram per centimeter cubes. So, we understand that relative density is uh, the ratio of density of the substance to the density of the water of equal volume. Now, how do we find practically the relative density of a substance? Now, see the board. Here, I am going to explain you about how to find the relative density of a substance. The first one is in the measuring cylinder. The measuring cylinder is the cylinder where you can pour any liquid so that you can know the volume of the liquid also. So, here we are taking water. Now, this is weighing machine and I want to find the relative density of this substance. Suppose think that it is a, a small a rectangular iron ball, not ball, rectangular block, iron block, any metal iron block, metal block you can take. So, that block kept on the weighing machine and immediately the weighing machine shows the weight of the body. So, W1 is nothing but 
weight of the object so you, you found weight of the object now step one what you have to do keep the empty measuring cylinder on the weighing machine so what happens you can find the weight of the measuring cylinder so w2 is weight of measuring cylinder now step 2 take a sideway tube filled with water such that the water level should be the water level should be aligned with the the sideway tube now dip and immerse the substance using weightless thread now as soon as the substance immersed in the liquid like water the water level rises and the rest of the water level passes through sideway and drops into the measuring cylinder now collect the water in the measuring cylinder how much water is flowing into the measuring cylinder collect it then after collecting it put it on the weighing machine so the water what you have collected in the measuring cylinder here it is called displaced water why it is called displaced water because it this is the water displaced by this object now again find the weight this weight is the weight of measuring cylinder plus displaced water so w3 is weight of measuring cylinder right plus displaced water yes so w1 w2 w3 all three are ready for us now how do you find relative density now see the formula here relative density of a substance equal to weight of the substance or you can say object also weight of the substance by weight of displaced water displaced water having equal volume see the formula carefully weight of the substance by weight of the displaced water having equal volume yes the water has equal volume because this displaced water displaced by this object how much of volume the object had the same amount of volume water is displaced in the measuring cylinder right now the volume weight of the substance what is the formula what is the symbol w1 by weight of the displaced water having equal volume so i want to find weight of displaced water only but w3 giving measuring cylinder weight plus displaced water but w2 is giving only weight of the measuring cylinder which is empty so therefore displaced water weight is nothing but w3 minus w2 w3 minus w2 so this is how you can find relative density of a given substance now we are going to discuss about how to find the relative density of a liquid see here how to find relative density of a liquid of course it is also follow the same steps as we discussed in the earlier case but little difference is there suppose i want to find the relative density of a milk relative density of milk i want to find so milk is a liquid so what i do step 1 take the weighing machine put the empty measuring cylinder on the weighing machine and find the weight of empty measuring cylinder let it be w1 now put the milk pour the milk in the measuring cylinder up to some level say the level is 50 ml remember volume is 50 ml now again put it on the weighing machine take the weight now this weight is weight of cylinder plus milk now so remove the milk from the measuring cylinder and pour the water into the measuring cylinder of equal volume 50 ml put in on the weighing machine and find the weight now this is the weight of the cylinder plus water now the formula of relative density of liquid is relative density of liquid of a liquid 
equal to density no sorry weight of liquid weight of liquid by weight of water having same volume so remember the condition having same volume i told in this case the volume is 50 ml so we are near to the formula now relative density of liquid equals to weight of the liquid see w2 is the weight of the cylinder plus milk w1 is the weight of empty cylinder so if you want to find the weight of the milk what you have to do yes w2 minus w1 so w2 minus w1 all by i want to find the weight of water nothing but w3 minus w1 w3 minus w1 so in that way you can find the relative density of a liquid of any